<laughs> and she's brought a really great um, repurposed project for us today. It's going to be a hummingbird, a hummingbird feeder. hummingbird feeder, and we're using just recycled water bottles and and we're using painters from Elmer's. Yeah, Elmer's well, painters pants. Let me get there. <laughs> Whatever. I've been in a repurposing frenzy lately, trying to find ways to use things again. Well, that's good. Rather than just throw them away. And we love to feed the birds at our house, and my kids love to watch the hummingbirds. So I came up with this idea to use empty water bottles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use it full just to show you because it's easier to put it together when it has something in it. Okay. Any brand of water bottle will do. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. So all different shapes and any, variations. Yeah, they're all basically the same dimension, right. so they all work very well. I use the Elmer's sticky out to get the label off. Oh, okay. Great. And that takes the label off, the rest of the label off. I started with a piece of 18 gauge wire and the longest piece is 46 inches. I thought you said you started with 18. 18 gauge wire. Oh. That's just the size of the wire. <laughs> All right. That's the size. Here we fits. go. That's the size that fits through these little glass. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And you measured it out to 40 what? It's 46 inches. Does it matter it's, it's really, twisted right there? No, it'll be okay. Oh, okay. It's really okay. soft. The 18 gauge is just very yeah. pliable. And I just made a little loop on the end to stop the bead. Oh, okay. And then I just began to bead. And All you right. can do that. I went two or three inches with the small glass repel beads. And then I added one of these pretty large decorative glass beads. Okay. And then just kept going. This is a great way to use up some of your beads Extra that you have beads, yeah. leftovers Extra beads from a that don't match necklace anything. project or and something. And they're colorful, so they yeah. attract the hummingbirds without the food being oh. red. Oh. Because you don't have to have red food as long as the something red Oh, you don't have to always have to put like little red food coloring. Doesn't need it. Oh. Nope, no. You just need it. red something so they see it? As long as there's something red or something colorful to draw the hummingbirds in, that's all they need. And the beads in this oh, are really Maybe this is a dumb question. The light hitting through the glass. Do hummingbirds only see red? I think they see other colors, but they're most drawn to red. Oh, I'm not okay. entirely sure. Mm. But I know red is the real color that really draws them. The small, this is the hanging loop, and this is a 22 inch piece of wire. That was your pop quiz for the day. Oh, so yeah, two pieces <laughs> then. Two pieces okay. of wire. One is 46 inches, the other okay. is 22. Okay. And this one I just beaded with the straight glass brocales. I did not use the big ones. You could, but okay. I just didn't. Well, it makes it easier for hanging. It, yeah, it just yeah. doesn't get the big ones, the big ones get in the way sometimes. So once you've got it all beaded, you attach your wire and you have a big, lovely necklace. So you just twist one end, just two, twist or the them two together. ends yep. together? I just okay. twisted them together to, to Get on it, it Anna. We already passed that part. And you're left with this lovely necklace. <laughs> and a matching bracelet. <laughs> you know, when you're tired of feeding the birds. Bird bracelets. Very cute. Okay, so now how are we going to assemble this puppy? Now, this, if you don't do it right the first time, don't panic. It can be a little tricky, but it will go back together. I've, I've done it, it many, many times, and it does work. She was panicking, folks, in that trailer. We just put about her on glass, Nice, that was really nice. Like, she's ever going to come back I now. I told no problem. Just redo it again. It won't work, it won't work. No problem. I'll just tell everybody on camera what you did. <laughs> so you fold your necklace in half. This way. Okay. And then I add my bracelet. Oh, got it. Okay. I'm going to take my bottle, place my loop on top. Okay. I twisted it once. Okay. You need a little extra set of hands? Yeah. Then bring the loop to the top of the bottle. Bring this longer side okay. back down the back. Twist it again. Okay. Sometimes if you give it a little twist down the bottom, it works better. So then you've got okay. this step. Twist it on this side. Okay. And this is where it gets tricky. tricky. Okay. Up through the loop. Okay. Back down. Oh, and over. And over. Cool. That wasn't too hard. It is you a little your, tricky. It can be a little tricky, and sometimes, depending on the bottles, there may be a little bit of a size difference. If it's too long, you can just add a couple of extra twists before you bring oh, it over. Okay, so you really can make it to fit mm -hmm. any size and bottle. And that'll make it Excellent. fit any size bottle. And then, take off the cover. Now. Pop How do you get the? I, uh, we're not have. This is not no sugar in this. But no, this could is you just tell? Happened. That's yeah, what we um, need to do. It's a quarter of a cup of sugar. Quarter cup of sugar. To a cup of boiling water. 
Oh, okay. Dissolve it, let it cool, Yum. and they come. Okay, and how, ma how many that bottles sounds like of water will that be? cleansing diet. A cup of water would fill about half of one of these. So I, I usually make it a pot at a time, and then I put it in the refrigerator. Okay. And then I just refill it as I need to. Okay, great. A really important thing about hummingbird feeders is not to let them get dirty. Do not let it get stagnant. It can kill the hummingbirds. Oh, what? okay. And so the beauty is if the bottle starts to get nasty, you throw out the you bottle, get another clean bottle, or recycle the bottle. You recycle. I was just saying, you recycle, you recycle the bottle. The bottle. <laughs> Get a clean bottle and start over, and, and you've still got a usable thing. Our, These great little hummingbird feeder ends uh -huh. I got online, and they were 69 cents a piece, so it's not an can't, expensive project. Can't beat that. They fit perfectly in there. And do you want to like get rid of those two if they start getting nasty, yeah, or can you wash thing. them? You can. Boil them it's or... tricky to clean them out. It's okay. for the price for 69, for 69 cents, cents. It's just as easy to just throw it out and start mm -hmm. over again. Um, but aren't we all about recycling and repurposing, Miss yes, Bassone? You're, you're right. You're right. I'm a failure. <laughs> I didn't say that. So now are we going to decorate the bottle? Yeah, just to kind of bring them in a little bit more and make it a little more fun and tropical. Do you I decorate, just, you, just, do you always do it afterwards? I do, just because that way when I'm fiddling with it. You know what colors yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and I know and... where to put the flowers so that they'll show the best. Okay. Just use my painter and I just freehanded some flowers. You can make funky curly flowers or just... It's a really nice hostess gift to take too yeah. to somebody's house in the summer it's just a for fun a picnic. Thing. Oh, yeah. like for a barbecue or something? Yeah. It'd be really fun. So you're talking about like for a cocktail party? I'm like, that is not the kind of gifts I want people bringing me to my cocktail parties. Okay. Depends Always on what's about in the cocktails, <laughs> Megan. And I just randomly put the red flowers the all the way That's around. That's why we always bring put vodka in her. In her hummingbird fear. <laughs> Give the birds a little treat. <laughs> you know, this is a good project too. I know your boys, your boys and boy scouts, mm -hmm. and so this is mm -hmm. a good scouting project, a Girl Scout it's a project. Great project. Yeah, they're single and ladies. It's great groups. For <laughs> Just kidding. And they're, they're eight like, and ten. I was older. Like <laughs> Do a shout out to the boys. Hey, hi Joe. Hi Tom. <laughs> so it is. It's a fun, pretty simple project. The only tricky part can be getting it to fold, but. And then you're going to say hi to your husband now because he's going to feel really out. <laughs> And the bottle should be tight before you pick it up. Or Anna's not allowed to touch it. I mean, it's so, really simple. And so the, when you turn this upside down, I'm going to do it this way because the water shoots out. And then it'll reset. And then it, it, yeah, then it re... There we go. Now it's not coming I mean, out usually anymore. she melts when she gets wet, so that was surprising. <laughs> I'm melting. Megan, I shouldn't get to... <laughs> I can't work under these conditions what? anymore. I quit. <laughs> Well, this is a super great project, Cindy. Megan. She totally knows what to do. She gives me a project, gives me distracted. I get her out of the way. Exactly. Well, Cindy, thank you again for coming and bringing us a new project. And you know what we always say. Creativity knocks. Open, open the door. The door.